Hi, I'm Dr. Howard Stein. I'm the Director of Neonatology at ProMedica Toledo Children's Hospital. NAVA, or Neurally Adjusted Ventilatory Assist, is a new mode of ventilation that has recently become available for neonates. To review how NAVA works, we will review neuroventilatory coupling. The single starts in the central nervous system, goes down the phrenic nerve, and excites the diaphragm. When the diaphragm contracts, the chest wall and lung expands, and that causes airway and pressure to change in the lungs. When air flow changes in the lungs, this initiates a flow trigger that communicates with the ventilator that a breath is coming, and the ventilator then gives assisted breath. When this happens with the flow trigger, there's an inherent trigger delay between the start of the breath and the assistance from the ventilator. The neural trigger, as shown in the middle of the slide, detects when the diaphragm becomes excited. Not only does that decrease the trigger delay between the initiation of the breath and the initiation of the ventilator, but the neural trigger controls the amount of electrical activity of the diaphragm, which will control the size of the breath that the baby will get. Comparing conventional ventilation to NAVA ventilation. In conventional ventilation, the patient controls using a flow trigger the initiation of the breath, the rate in some modes, and termination in some modes on certain ventilators. With neural trigger, the patient controls the initiation of the breath, the inspiratory time, the rate, peak pressure, and termination of the breath. With conventional ventilation, the ventilator controls all the things that we are used to putting in there, such as FiO2, PEEP, peak pressure or tidal volume depending on the mode used, inspiratory time, termination of breath and minimum rate. With NAVA ventilation, the ventilator controls FiO2, PEEP, NAVA level, apnea time and peak inspiratory pressure. With conventional ventilation, synchrony therefore is only for initiation of the breath, but with the neural trigger, synchrony is for initiation of the breath, the size of the breath and termination. The flow trigger with conventional ventilation is based on the patient's respiratory effort and it is dependent on leak, whereas the neural trigger is based on the patient's respiratory drive and is leak independent. While breathing, the ventilator in conventional ventilation is synchronous for breath initiation only, but in the spontaneous breathing baby with neural trigger, the ventilator is synchronous for breath initiation, size and termination. However, when the patient's apneic, both types of ventilations are very similar. In conventional ventilation, the baby ventilates in pressure or volume control depending on your settings, but in neural triggered ventilation when the baby's apneic, the baby ventilates only in pressure control ventilation. So what we know today, EDI or electrical activity of the diaphragm monitoring is essential for quantifying the strength of spontaneous breathing and for unloading of the diaphragm. It's essential for detecting patient ventilator asynchrony, detecting central apnea and the efficacy of its therapy, detecting for over-assistance and sedation, and also assists in accurate respiratory metrics. NAVA is synchronous for breath initiation, size, and termination. The neural trigger works independent of air leaks, and therefore this opens up the whole field of non-invasive ventilation and the ability to now ventilate a neonate synchronously, non-invasively. Neonates appear to have intact neurorespiratory feedback mechanisms, and through titration studies, we have demonstrated the effectiveness of the Herring Brewer reflex. And we have shown that babies are able to self regulate their ventilatory needs, and that NAVA will often provide lower peak inspiratory pressures and therefore may be lung protective. NAVA also provides equivalent or, in some cases, improved blood gases and less FiO2 to affect the same type of ventilation. NAVA appears safe. In fact, most peak inspiratory pressures and tidal volumes are below the typical range that is set for conventional ventilation. And to date, no adverse outcomes have been reported in approximately 235 peer-reviewed publications, of which 54 in pediatric patients. NAVA has been shown to improve comfort and also to decrease the incidence of central apnea. It has also been shown to reduce sedation requirements. And in two trials, NAVA has reduced the length of stay in neonates. So we know that NAVA works in neonates, but the big question is, does it make a difference? Large multicenter trials are now needed to decide if NAVA can prevent intubation or decrease time on ventilators. And is NIV-NAVA or synchronized non-invasive ventilation indeed better than non-synchronous non-invasive ventilation? Can NAVA decrease the incidence of chronic lung disease? And if all this happens, will NAVA improve outcomes? The time has come for neonatal units around the country who are now proficient in the use of NAVA ventilation to 
contribute and participate in these multi-center trials. And when the time comes, one hopes that they will step up and be part of our um, adventure to discover if NAVA is a better way to ventilate babies. Thank you.